whistleblowers, if you dare come forward and tell Congress what's going on, look out. They will come for you. They will take your clearance. They will take your pay. They'll even take your kids' clothes. Just ask Garrett O'Boyle, who testified in front of this committee as well. Today, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan there slamming the FBI during the hearing with special counsel John Durham today, where Durham was laying out his findings from his 316-page report on the Bureau's crossfire hurricane investigation during the 2016 presidential election. That's right. Durham says there needs to be accountability for the missteps, uh, confirmation bias, and also double standard exhibited by top FBI officials during that probe. All right, the man you just heard mentioned by Jim Jordan is whistleblower Garrett O'Boyle. Good enough to join us today. Thanks for joining us, Garrett. Thank you for having me on. I remember when you testified and you also said uh, the FBI, I believe, will destroy you if you go against them. So obviously, um, you know firsthand uh, a bit of what Congressman Jordan and others were referring to today. Just your top line thoughts on Durham's testimony. Are, are you pleased? Uh, do you wish there was more coming out when it comes to reform? More from this report. I, I do uh, wish there was more coming out. Um, the the hearing itself, you know, it it there's only so much they can talk about. He mentioned it in his opening statement that um, he was advised by DOJ of certain things he couldn't speak to. Uh, hopefully, someday we'll all get the, the full picture of of what those other topics might have been. But Congressman Jordan, uh, John Durham, and others who are rightfully trying to hold the FBI accountable, they should be praised. Uh, it's not easy sitting in a hearing like that. And Mr. Durham was a, a solo witness. At least I had fellow whistleblowers with me uh, when I was at my hearing. But uh, the FBI, it, it needs a lot of reform it, if it can even be salvaged at this point. And I think the Durham report is very clear and his testimony is very clear as to uh, that point. Yeah, I mean, look, you, you've sat in that seat. Um, how, how do you think that, how do you think Durham did? Um, you know, and he talked about the, the lack of, I guess, trust that people have, the American public has right now with the FBI. Um, first of all, how do you think he did, number one? Number two, you know, will, will the public ever restore and have a restoration of trust in the FBI after all this? Overall, I think he did well. Uh, you know, he, he's been in this type of environment a long time, many decades, and so testifying and um, you know, providing testimony is, is nothing new to him. Uh, and then also fielding the attacks that were levied towards him by the Democratic side of the aisle. Similar to our, our hearing, it's disgusting to see that type of thing. Uh, we all should be just seeking the truth. And that's what the Department of Justice and the FBI should be their primary goal. Now, we know from Durham's testimony, as well as his report, as well as whistleblowers like myself and others, that the FBI doesn't really always care about the truth. They care more about protecting the brand, and in this case, uh, trying to destroy a presidential uh, candidacy and then um, a sitting president. It, it, which that, that should be scary to all Americans because if the FBI, the most powerful law enforcement agency in the world, is trying to uh, basically engage in a coup against a sitting president, uh, what hope could we have in that agency? And it's far more than reformed. It's a matter of character and a matter of personal responsibility uh, that for some reason is lacking in the upper echelons of the FBI. Well, you've been very brave to come forward as a whistleblower. Uh, during your testimony, you shared how you were out of work trying to care for your family, put food on the table. So we know you put a lot on the line uh, to give your testimony. Uh, Garrett O'Boyle, a pleasure to have you in today, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me.